Pranams at the Divine Lotus Feet of our dearest Bhagwan Sri Sakti Sai Baba. We welcome you all. Today we are very deeply uh, pleased and honored to welcome Brother Sundar, the director of the Media Center in Purapati, and Brother Danish. He is the John 5 group chairman, which means he covers Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, uh, Japan, Taiwan, Hong Kong, and uh, Brunei. So he is also here. So later I'll ask him to share a few words also. And we have also with us Brother Mahendran, who is the chairman of the Satya Sai Global Organization in Malaysia. So let's uh, really thank you all for coming here. Now briefly before I ask Brother Danish to say a few words, I would like to say a brief introduction to our main uh, speaker, Brother Sundar. Uh, his brief resume actually is very long, so I'm not going to say all, because if I say all, then half the night will go. So just very briefly, uh, he was born in uh, India, in, Ch uh, in Bombay, and he did a postgraduate in uh, communication engineering and network professional. During his time, he had come to Singapore and also worked here for a few years. And finally, before he retired, he was the vice president of AT&T, AT heading the Astral Asia region. So in uh, 2011, he returned, and with Swami's grace, uh, in 2018, he was appointed to take charge of the media center in Budapati. I leave it to him more about what actually is uh, the role he has played. And I think the most important thing that uh, I can, you know, in working with him, he's a very humble person and also he is very knowledgeful. It's a very good combination which you really find in many people. So, really appreciate that. So, without much further ado, I'll now ask Brother Danish to say a few words. Thank you. Brother Danish, please. Om Sri Satya Sairam. Swami, our humble pranams at your lotus feet. Please guide us, protect us, and always be with us. Thank you, Swami. My dear Sai family in Singapore, also from Malaysia, allow me to take your time one minute, not more than a minute. This is the first time I I come here as a zone chair, but believe me, more than anything, I feel title is nothing. Title is nothing. Being a Sai devotee is everything. Till now, I'm still trying to become Sai devotee in many ways, and I hope Swami will fulfill my wish. What I want to share with all of you that we understand and we know, we always say Swami is God, Swami is everything, but in many ways in our life, we are not convinced that Swami is indeed God who we always call. I just want to share my personal experience about what I get during our visit in Prashanti Nilayam two months ago during Chinese New Year. You see, in every one life, something or the other will happen or can happen. The same thing happened to me. It's shaken me up, really shaken me up. I am I'm not embarrassed to share all to all of you that during COVID time, I went through a lot of problems, a lot of situations where really I myself don't know how to move forward. And that's the time I ask myself, is Swami really there? And of course, we know deep down 
that Swami is holding our hand, but somehow the other many of us, including me, we are not convinced about that when we face with the challenges. So during that period of time, until January 2023, when I went to Prashanti for Chinese New Year, I happened to meet a devotee which is came to Prashanti Nilayam in 1953. His name is Shiva Reti. Many of you travel to Prashanti. He's a very old devotee. So somehow I was walking and I met him and uh, he along his wife uh, stopped me and said, Hey, Ganesh, I want to say something to you. I said, tell me. He said that, uh, I don't know somehow, but I want to tell you a story. I said, okay, tell me. So he said, I came here in 1953 and then uh, after some time, my wife also, in 1968, one of my wife's family got cancer. Cancer. And that time, 1968, there's no good doctor to operate. But somehow, there's one doctor in Bangalore who can uh, attend the patient. But this doctor is not Sai devotee. So, Swami sent somebody to Bangalore and asked this doctor to come. And then the doctor came some, somehow and Swami said, look, I need your help. Please operate this person. The doctor said, look, I don't know much about cancer, but uh, yeah, you want me to do, I will do. Swami said, don't worry. During the time of uh, operation, I'll be there. Now this doctor become more, uh, you know, shaken up. He said, you, how can you know about medicine? But anyway, Everybody listen to Swami. So, the day decide, the patient is an operation theater room. The doctor came and then Swami entered the operation room. Then the doctor said, now what do we do? This is word, this is the words came out from the devotees. He's very old. Swami said, okay, now, you cut from here, you cut from there. Open the area where there is a cancer. When the doctor opened, the doctor said to Swami, this is impossible case. I cannot do anything. Forget, forget about it. Swami said, wait, wait, wait. You cut from here, you cut from here, you cut from here. Swami tell the doctor from where to cut. All right? Doctor just follow. He said, I'm going to do finish it up and I'm going back to Bangalore, finish. So, after some time, the operation is over. Now, this lady who happened to be operated faced a very critical situation. The family started crying. And then they went to Swami. Swami, see, till now this lady still not yet get up. Swami said, you don't know, this lady is a drama queen. Wait, I'll go and see him. I'll go and see her. So Swami went to hospital, then Swami looked at her, then Swami asked the family, now you tell me how many years you want me to give her a second life? Then the family said, Swami, it's up to you. Swami said, okay, I'll give for 10 years. Okay? Then Swami tapped the lady, hey, drama queen, wake up. The lady opened the eyes and exactly after 10 years, the lady left. So what I'm trying to share with you, with all of you here, that yes, we are lucky, we are chosen by Swami to become His children, but believe me, don't underestimate Swami. And what we need to do, from my personal experience, that the only way to be loved by Swami is only two things. Do as much as you can, seva, even a small seva, but do as much as you can. When you take care of Swami's children, devotee or non-devotee, by doing seva and you do namasmaranam, trust me, whatever you want in your life, Swami will give you. Just do that. And that is what I want to share with all of you. Thank you for giving me time. Om Sri Satya Sairam. Offering my humble pranams at the divine lotus feet of our beloved Bhagawan. For me, it's a homecoming. This is the very center where 
I just came in as a normal person when we had at the Pirmal Kovil temple and I was sitting in the last row and looking at what he called, you know, what's happening actually. I never expected that day that I'm going to be the director of the media center or I'm going to be associated as an office builder because my role did not allow me to take any kind of big assignments because of my professional activities. But then from the last row, I moved into the first row, the same Permal Koil only, with the blessings of so many Mahilas. I was a bachelor at the time, you know, roaming around here, working in Singapore. And these are the young ladies who gave me what he called that prasadam and that salt brought me here today actually and I also had a glass of water that Swami wanted me to drink because you had a salt on that day now today you have a little water actually I should say thanks Swami indeed it's something that you know I never expected that I'm going to be in Singapore couple of weeks ago when Sriram was in my office, I was just talking to him that, you know, he was asking me, Sundar, how is your Sai experience and all? I said, it is only from Singapore that I started the journey and today I am here. So indeed, it's a most beautiful moment for me in my life actually that, you know, coming back to Singapore after 15 long years actually. I never visited this place at all actually for the 15 years. Maybe Swami wanted to keep me away for reasons best known to him actually. But then today when I landed in Singapore, it was something like homecoming to me actually. There are a lot of memories that I have here and a lot of experience that I have here and lots and lots of things that happened in my lifetime as a Sai devotee, as a non-Sai devotee actually. So the journey of my life started only from here. I thank Swami for all that whatever He has given me today. And to me and my family, this center and this place means a lot. Thank you very much Swami. Now before I proceed talking to you, I would like to take you to a journey through uh, the media center. Many of you will be asking questions. He lived, Swami started 2001, the Radio Sai, and now you call us Media Center, why? As a director of the Media Center, it's my moral responsibility to give you a clear picture about what Radio Sai and what Media Center is all about today. I know there are many, many speakers have come here. Sri Ram was telling me that, you know, a lot of people come here and they talk about various things. To be very honest with you, I am not in that kind of what you call quote unquote speaker's list actually. For me, Swami is always in my heart. I treat Swami as my best friend. You must have gone to the church. I was told next door there is a church this side actually. There is a father who sits there and we go and confess to the father and tell him the truth, whatever that happens. And then, you know, he blesses you. And that's how we seek our what he called, you know, blessings and come out. For me, it's the other way around. I close my eyes, I look at Swami, and I just pray for Swami for a minute and tell him the truth. Because Swami is my best buddy, actually. I don't consider anything else. There are some things that we don't even share with our family actually. But then, when we have a true friend, we always go and share everything that what we want actually and what we want. See, we need to you know, pass on this message somewhere actually. And that message it always goes to one of the true friend that we always believe that he's our friend. That's how Swami is for me actually. So, I did not go into, I did not have the opportunity to what he called spend more time on the Vagini series, 
on the spiritual sides and all that because being a professional and working for almost about four decades in the IT, my life was different. You all know how it is because we all sail the same boat actually. But then something was in store for me. 2018, I never expected that you know I'm going to read every day, every minute, every hour only about Swami. The day when I got myself retired, I said, you know, it's time for me to go around the world and spend my time with people around. Maybe Sai devotee, non Sai devotee actually. But the clarion call was different. The moment you get retired, Swami always says it is only retire actually. So, you know, you again get a call and then, you know, the laptop which I really wanted to discard from my career actually was not allowed by Swami. And Swami said that carry on the laptop journey from 2018 onwards. So, we don't know what's in store for us actually and what plans that Swami has got for us. Every individual sitting here, I'm sure all of us would have gone through some kind of what you call, you know, comfort zone or some kind of a roller coaster in our career actually or in our professional life or even in our family life. But then there's one hand which always comes unknown, unknowingly actually, is nothing but our own beloved Bhagavan actually. So, he is a friend, he is a buddy, he is always with us, he travels along with us in all our journey. All we need to be true and honest and tell him the truth actually and tell him that, hey look, I did this mistake and I am going to continue to do the mistake and you support me. Now, it becomes his responsibility to what you call, you know, support us, because he has no choice, no. See, end of the day, he is Antaryami, he believes in devotees, and devotees are his what you call weakness. So, which means when you have so much of what you call, you know, Swami's weakness, that you know, all you need to just keep your concentration on Swami and make sure that, you know, he is part of your network your, your uh, what do you call your activity, your every day actually. That's how Media Center starts the day with 5 a.m. 3 a.m. is Sai in space, IST. What I mean is IST. 3 a.m. IST, we are the Sai in space. So we give you a quote at 3 a.m. what Swami said. What is this discourse all about actually? And these days we have what you call the audio also there and we also have the, uh, the script. These are what you call done through enormous amount of research and the books that we go through actually and make sure that it is authentical actually. There is nothing that we add. In fact, I would say that we are nothing but a parrot just opening our mouth and then closing. For us, it's day in, day out, hour to hour, minute to minute, nanoseconds, it's only Swami actually. Imagine a person who did not have time till 2017 to even read or even to listen or even to what you call, you know, get close. You just go to the bhajans, you know, hey, look, okay, Aarti said what you call 6.30, okay, 6.27 you enter in, have Aarti Darshan of Swami and say, seek the blessing and go home. But 2018 changed the life that today I have no choice. I start my day with Swami and I end the day with Swami. There's nothing else that I look at my internet or when I look at my email or when I look at any of my social media platforms, the one and the only message that I get is sometimes the zone chair says, I want this photo, I want this uh, video. You know, so much of what you call uh, information that I get across 126 countries that what we are associated in the GC. They keep hopping on me saying that, you know, I need all this data. So when I have to go into the data, we have asset management, media asset management software. So we have to scan. So when we scan, it's not that the only what you call that photo that what he wants. I look at many other photos. Is it not a miracle of Swami actually? This is where Swami takes you. The life changes when, where, how, nobody knows about it. 
and I really thank Swami for that. Well, let me tell you, I am not here to talk about any of my experience. The reason why I say that is, everything is very personal to me. It's between me and my Swami actually. There are humpty number of examples, humpty number of miracles that have happened to each one of you actually in your life. But then those are something that, you know, Swami's business card to you and then keep it in your pocket and preserve it forever. Don't let the business card be shared with anybody because you need to be sometimes selfish. And I am one among that, that, you know, I would never laugh to what he called share because it's too personal for me. It's too personal. There are days where, you know, we get into some kind of a mindset. We don't know what to say and what to do actually either on our professional life or even on our what you call personal life. But then Swami sends his business card, hold it on your pocket and say, hey, look, read this and say, thank you, Swami, I got it. The answer is in our pocket and then we move forward actually. Now, if I start sharing all these things to you, Swami will say, hey, I've got something for him. Why are you sharing yours? Yours is different and mine is different. A classical example is when Swami goes to any of the devotee's house. One day he says, I like coffee. Next he says, I like masal vada. Somebody questions Swami, Swami, you like coffee? I prepared coffee. You would like to take? No. That's for that house. And this masal vada is from, from your house. So, this is how Swami is all about. You cannot what you call uh, predict or you cannot what you call plan what Swami will do for you. Swami always comes out something and then tells you something and goes off. It's, it's something that we need to understand the divine call. The divine call understanding is very, very difficult. We are all human beings. We do not know what the language Swami talks to us actually. But when we come across that situation and we get out of the situation, there you could see a hand there which is just holding ourselves and taking to the destination that where we want actually. I think this is what Swami is all about to all of us. Keeping that in mind, I know Singapore is always a time conscious actually. You know, because I have lived here, I know all that, you know, when you have to travel or when we have to, what you call, be on a professional life, we mean what you call systems. For us, it's the database, it's the guidelines, it's what you call, you know, professional life here is totally different. I would not take much of your time, let me just go through this uh, presentation. You will understand what exactly the media house in Prashanti Nalim does. It's very important that you need to know about it actually. The reason is, you will understand from where to where and today where we are actually. And this growth is nothing but the blessings of Swami leading to the centenary celebration which is just very close by. I would say when I say close by, two years is not too long actually. Okay, it's very close by. And all of us has got a lot of responsibility and I'm sure that you know each one of you will scale up with the blessings of Swami. And when we head to the 2025, 23rd number, it's going to be life is going to be different for all of us actually. Let me play the audio, I mean the video, and then I'll come back for a short question answer session with you. And then you know, I'd like to conclude my speech. Thank you. The media part, the technical part of of the ashram is also very uh, nice and savvy. I best wishes and my praise to all of you. Even now when I go off to shoot, when I go off to work, at any point of time if I feel low, if I feel depressed or anything, I tune into Radio Sai. The joy that happens is Radio Sai because of Swami and Asim Krapa. The Sri Satya Sai Media Center today has become one of the powerful mediums to connect to Prashant Nilayam, which is the headquarters of the Satya Sai Mission. Oh. साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्य देवाय धीमहि तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात Headquarter at Prashant Nilayam The heart of the Sri Satyasai Mission 
the Sri Satya Sai Media Center at Puttaparthi, Andhra Pradesh has evolved over two decades to be a powerhouse of positivity and inspiration. Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba himself pressed the button and offered this service to mankind in November 2001. And a year later, in August 2002, Baba again personally inaugurated its office premises in the Prashantinilam ashram and spent more than an hour blessing its new staff and equipment and most importantly instilling in each one the guiding principles of this sacred institution. <laughs> It started as a satellite radio service and soon Radio Sai became a household name in the Sri Satya Sai community as it carried 24 by 7 Bhagwan's message, bhajans and devotional programs from Prashantinale. It is interesting how this service came into being out of the blue. In the year 2001, Dr. Michael Nobel, the co-founder and the chairman of the Nobel Sustainability Trust Foundation and Dr. Noah Samara, CEO of World Space, a satellite-based radio broadcast service, happened to visit the Sri Satisa Institute of Higher Medical Sciences, Whitefield, Bengaluru. So moved they were to see that the best of advanced medical care was being offered absolutely free of cost to everyone that Dr. Samara instantly offered a channel on World Space Satellite to carry the message of the selfless service and the universal love of Bhagwan. Therefore, on behalf of World Space, I therefore deeply grateful to Bhagwan for allowing us this opportunity and would like to ask him to do us the deep honor of inaugurating this project, the Sai Global Harmony Channel, by pressing the button. Bhagwan Sai Baba, please. Thus, Radio Sai Global Harmony was born. Indeed, it was one superlative act of compassion cascading into another stream of selflessness. What began as a satellite radio soon adapted to the changing time and became an internet radio in the year 2003 and soon multiplied into five channels, three channels catering to the three different time zones and one dedicated completely to bhajans and one to bhagwan's discourses. Thus documenting and disseminating the life and teachings of bhagwan through all media became the central mission of this organization. Even as radio programs continued, volumes of literature about the Sai mission and the Sai saga regularly began to be published on the radiosai.org website. Way back in the year 1961, Bhagwan had stated, Do not make God modern to suit your fancy. He is neither ancient nor modern. His countenance never changes, nor his glory. Present him if you must in a modern style, so that he might be understood today. If a child is reluctant to swallow a pill, insert it in a plantain and offer the fruit. He will swallow both. But do not change the pill itself to suit the whims and fancies of the child's taste because then the illness cannot be cured. This indeed has been the guiding philosophy behind every content generated in this institution. Devotees eagerly look forward to this content to soak in the inspiring tales from Prashantinalayam about Baba's visits, messages and manifestations. It was in April 2011 when Bhagwan moved on from his physical form back to his cosmic self. 
this carrier of his message had no time to grieve or even recover from that abyss of pain as everyone more than ever before held on to it to derive strength solace and succor from 2011 itself radio sai started live audio streaming of daily bhajans and vedam chanting from prashanti nilay besides every thursday there were also live satsangs bhajan tutors vedam tutors panel discussions insightful interviews and so on from the radio sai broadcast studios This was also the time when the institution began using social media more intensely than ever before to connect to devotees across the globe. Today, Bhagwan's message is beamed through all the commonly used platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn and so on. On Facebook alone, over 4 million people follow the page Sri Satya Sai Baba. which is managed by this organization soon live video streaming of programs from prashanti nilayam started too in its youtube channel in the last decade one youtube channel blossomed into 10 youtube channels that's how you have a channel dedicated to bhajans one for baba's discourses one in hindi one in telugu one in kannada tamil Malayalam and one dedicated to little hearts the mother channel is sri satisai official during the pandemic to facilitate devotees to connect with prashanti programs seamlessly the prashanti mandir live channel became active relaying the mandir prayers and programs from prashanti nilay apart from broadcasting all special events and festivals devotees from anywhere can also have the mahasanidhi darshan every thursday and sunday over the years this organization has been upscaling its live broadcast capabilities by upgrading the facilities and equipment in the sacred precincts of the sai kulwant hall it is gearing up to offer live broadcast in hd resolution sri satya sai media center also ensures that every program presented in the sai kulwant hall meets the quality criteria by qualifying the audition standards this institution also broadcast events live from multiple destinations in the ashram whenever important events take place be it in the purnachandra auditorium sri satya sai hillview stadium of the Sri Satya Sai International Center for Sports Some of the events even include live feed from drones As of February 2023 the cumulative viewership of all these channels was close to 270 million views and growing every day Every single day has more than 200,000 plus views across these 10 channels Commending its growth, YouTube presented the Silver Creator Award to three of its channels for crossing the 100,000 subscribers milestone. 2022 also saw the launch of the Prashanti Connect app, the first official app of this institution. This app, which is available for both Android and Apple devices, is the highway for every devotee to connect to Prashanti Nilay. The app is a window to content in all languages apart from the Prashanti Mandir live and the various radio streams. The app also has a few other interesting features. The sadhana of Likhita Nama Japa goes digital with the Prashanti Connect app. Something troubling your mind? Need a quick quote from Swami to bring clarity or calmness? Prashanti Connect has got you covered. newer and more exciting features involving augmented reality and virtual reality are being planned to be integrated into this app very soon so don't miss to download and constantly update this app
One of the best blessings for this organization came during the pandemic in June 2021 when all its facilities were upgraded and all its studios and workspaces were revamped with top-of-the-line infrastructure to become a full-fledged media house. Now, Radio Sai was blessed with a new name too. It was renamed as Sri Satya Sai Media Center. Sri Satya Sai is now a registered trademark and every production from this media house is now copyrighted and recognized for its authenticity, research and production quality. The center now has a dedicated video studio with lighting grids and a chroma screen background with a dedicated state-of-the-art audio mixing console and multiple recording floors and advanced equipment that is periodically upgraded to match industry standards. Today, no matter which popular audio video streaming platforms you may be in, be it Amazon, Apple, Google, Ghana, Spotify and so on, all you have to do is search for Sri Satyasai and you will find content of Sri Satyasai Media Center. Meanwhile, the Sri Satyasai Media Center also completely overhauled its website with a modern design and interface and with suitable database management systems and web services. Internally, the team has an advanced and customized media asset management system to quickly retrieve the rich archival content on Bhagwan's life. Talking of archival material, Sri Satya Sai Media Center also plays an important role in collecting, preserving and digitizing all types of content related to the avataric life of Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba. This includes over 20,000 audio and video tapes captured over many decades in different formats, more than 100,000 photographs and manuscripts that are carefully stored in the Sri Satyasai Archives facility. Devotees who have photographs, video footages and audio recordings of Bhagwan are most welcome to share these precious assets which will be carefully preserved in this permanent archival facility of the Sri Satisai Central Trust. One can write to director at sssmediacenter.org. Over the years, the Sri Satisai Media Center has expanded its capabilities to play different roles in this focused mission of spreading Bhagwan's message. In 2022, the Sri Satisai Media Center was instrumental in setting up of the Sri Satisai Divya Smriti, a completely digital museum at the Brindavan Ashram in Bengaluru. This is the first digital experience center on Bhagwan, which uses animations, touch sensors, multi-dimensional projectors, personal multilingual audio guides, and immersive visual shows to present the story and message of Bhagwan Baba. The entire scripting, complete audio recordings, theme music and videos that involved archival footage were all done at the studios of the Sri Satisai Media Center. The grand sound and light show at the Sri Satisai Hillview Stadium too was produced with the involvement of the Sri Satisai Media Center at every stage. As the Sri Satisai Media Center continues to expand, it has now set up satellite studios in Hyderabad, Chennai, Tirupati, Delhi, Bengaluru and more are being added just as the number of its dedicated volunteers are also growing exponentially. It is these silent Sai workers contributing from across the globe who make the Sri Satisai Media Center shine brighter and bigger every day. Sri Satyasai Media Center, as always, heartily welcomes anyone who wants to join this mission of sharing the love of Sai 
the word of Sai and the glory of Sai. 2018, a clarion call came from the Prashant in Alayam asking me to report and that journey started from there on. In 2018, when I walked into this office, I had visualized the brand name of Sri Satya Sai. My one and the only goal was to make sure that, you know, this Sri Satya Sai branding is to be created in the digital world. And to support me, I had a great number of staff. Each one highly dedicated, took multiple roles and got everything done. It's all the same boys who were there from 2001 to 2017. did the same job from 2018 to 2023 what we are now and the entire credit goes to each and every boy who had spent his valuable time dedicating himself and creating that wonderful content that is required to create the branding called sri satya sai i would like to thank each one of the volunteers the volunteers did play a very important role we are a bunch of say about 20 odd people but then you know we had close to multiple times bigger volunteer group spread across the whole globe and i thanks swami for giving this wonderful volunteer group to be part of this sri satya sai media center without them we would have not been able to achieve where we are today actually welcome the world of digital media in the sri satya sai media center is wide open there is no restrictions and you one need not have to worry what role he or she can play all you need to be is to be present and tell us what exactly that you have in mind and we shall open up the avenue for you on behalf of the entire sri satya sai media center i welcome all the volunteers across the world to come and join this movement and be part of us swami sandeep dotre is something very dear to all of us the lots and lots of plan that we have We have been working along with the Sri Satya Sai Central Trust and the Board of Trustees. We should be able to come up with larger plans using the technology. It's always my prayer to go back to Swami and tell Swami, Swami, I want to do this, and I get the blessings from Swami, and that blessing drives me across very strong. Come back to my team and tell them that this is what we need to do, and the team just bounces on me and say, Yes, sir, we will do it. I thank the Sri Satya Sai Central Trust and the Board of Trustees for giving me this wonderful opportunity. Above all, the grace and blessings of Swami is always there with the Sri Satya Sai Media Center. My office is where Swami lives day in day out. Sai Ram to all of you. Thank you very much. As we now enthusiastically work for the hundredth birthday of Bhagwan. Sri Satya Sai Media Center is gearing itself up to play its own sweet role in his grand mission and prays that Bhagwan continues to bless this holy institution with strength, speed and the spirit of surrender. come in front of the camera actually the last 5 years i've never come in front of the camera because there's no need to show my photo or my face or my name all that i want to show is only swami and only swami and today where we are so about 280 million viewers is something that you know the world is now looking at on an average say about 2 lakh views a day anything that is produced anything that is created in the prashanti nilayam a small hamantan in body called andhra pradesh today goes to the world you'll be surprised to know some of the important data that what we have a country where you and i would have not thought about it 
and you would have not even said that, hey, look, you know, it's, it's not possible. The Google Analytic gives us what you call the data that that is the highest download that's happened in that country. It's a fanatic country, actually. I don't want to name the country because, you know, we are sensitive on country naming. But then, the kind of data that what we have, these are the live data that comes from the Google, and we have nothing to do, actually. And what we see and what you saw now is the true story, what we have on Swami today. Now, you must have seen in my conversation, we invite volunteers. I know Singapore is the powerhouse in terms of the IT, actually. And I know very well that, you know, the media here is very, very powerful. We have a high-skilled labor out here. All I want, my humble prayers to you, two years is what we are left now to reach to the centenary celebration. I need seven hours a week from you. When I say seven hours a week, it's just one hour a day. And I'm sure each one of you will definitely come forward with whatever knowledge and whatever skill set that you have and you know start working along with us. A small bit of a savor that what we all can do. And you know, this at the end of the day, it is the Swami who has given us the knowledge, not anybody else. We learned, we did, we practiced, we made money out of it, and now is the time that we give back to Swami that one hour of yours in a given day. Swami has given us 24 hours. I know we sleep, we have other activities and all that. But still, if you can give that one hour, and that one hour sincerely concentrate and do that kind of uh, an activity that what you and Swami wants you to do, I'm sure the world will be too big for us. Will you all agree with me on that actually? Can I, can I have an assurance from you? You've got a lovely center. I was just going around with Sri Ram. You know, it's a four-story building with a lovely, what you call, a seva activity that's happening out here. I'm damn impressed. I'm impressed in such a way that, you know, this center can produce, can collaborate, can work along with the media center provided the mindset of yours and Swami's will is there. I'm sure each one of you will come back to us and say, hey, look, I can do this. We are in the AR, we are in the MR and all that actually. I know it's all happening out here actually. And the Bay Area that what we have in the US. So if we all can join together, the world of digital can be filled with one what you call letter called the Sri Satya Sai. And I'm sure in our lifetime that we all would have been achieved something that what we Swami gave us and we gave back to Swami, whatever it is. I have a long, what you call, role to play. And whatever I've done so far or whatever we have done so far is only 0.1%, which means that a long path is still waiting for all of us. And I would request each one of you to join hands with me actually, whether the left or the right or whatever it is, or you walk in the front, I'll back, I'll walk behind you, looking forward for that bit of what you call contribution from you in terms of the skill set. The money, Swami doesn't want any money from anybody else. He just wants, give me your time and I will give you the knowledge. This is what our Swami said actually. So if that is true, and my only request now is give me that one hour a day. Whether you have the skills in terms of the IT, we don't have, the housewives can also contribute by what he called sharing Swami's message. And then create that kind of what he call big forum, at least leading to the centenary celebration of our beloved Bhagwan. With this few words, thank you very much. Indeed, I am blessed and thankful to Sri Ram, Mr. Sri Ram the zone chair, the deputy, uh, yeah, and you have the NCP here, and all the office bearers who have come from Malaysia all the way actually. Thank you very much. Indeed, it's my pleasure, sir, and I mean it.
it's a homecoming for me actually and i would love to always come as and when i feel like coming home actually thank you very much sailan if you have any questions you can ask me i'll take one or two questions max because you know sriram is restless actually <laughs> all right okay any questions No, generally we don't have a separate channel for education and seva because that is part of the what you call the organization. So what we do is we take some of the important event that happens, like for example the center. If there is something very important, you do some kind of a specialized course like yoga. I was told that there is a yoga class that happens. There is some kind of an IT uh, class that happens here. You also do a lot of Narayan seva here. if those informations are given to us actually we would like to you know tell the world that you know this is what happens through our uh, official channels we have a big channel yeah we we have a kids channel any any kids who has got talent you know n number of talents are there always with the kids and these kids channels like for example we have a school in singapore in fact i was talking to washi that you know give me an entry let me enter into your school and then you know let me talk to the children actually and see that you know if those children can what you call talk about vedam or talk about some kind of body called chinna kathas that swami has done and i'm sure that all the balavikas body call gurus would have taught them and if that option is available we would like to show the world that hey look you know in singapore there are so many young kids who are willing and who have been you know uh, talking about swami since swami is teaching media center has got a tamil channel called ananda vani this channel is very popular talks only about tamil the program that what we have the the what the kind of body call you know uploads that we have in that particular channel is only tamil in fact yesterday when i was traveling with his own uh, chair i was talking to him saying that i want to launch two of exclusive channel one in mandarin and one in what you call the indonesian language bahasa if i'm right so these two language i'm very keen i know because the asian country even if you go across to the uh, california or even to the west coast the lot of asians there actually and if we have to take the message across to the uh, west side of the us or even asian countries as such we need to work on this very shortly you'll hear that mandarin is going to be launched and also the uh, indonesian language tamil we already there there's a good number of what you call people who have joined from sri lanka australia and also from what you called uh, singapore and uh, malaysia all these countries we have a lot even from us actually and for the hindi we have a channel what called prema vani which is very popular in fiji islands if you go to fiji islands you see that there a lot of body call people there and the only connect for all these people to come to prashanti nilayam is the media house so media house plays a very important role in bring connecting people to prashanti nilayam and we wish and pray swami that he showers all his grace on the house and the boys out there are immensely graced i'll tell you they are wonderful boys i deal with them day in day out i have seen them the kind of research not a single document will go out if it is not authentical i'll tell you it will not come up in the uh, channels 100% be it on the website or be it on what you call the channel or even on the satsang or even if a devotee comes and talks something to us we cut that portion which is not true actually and make sure that you know the authentic data goes up actually otherwise we don't send the data to the broadcast so we are very sure anything and everything that you see it has got the blessings it's got the authentic data and it goes into the public domain you can be rest assured you can be rest assured that you know these data is always supported with the back document actually and that back document we are ready to produce to anybody 
who wants to what you call do a cross check or you know ask us any kind of a question which year what is this all about what swami said i can give you a live tape i live what you call a video or a text from swami's quote we are more particular about swami and swami's quote only actually rest all is only material but then swami's quote is very important to all of us sir If I keep talking about what you call the plants, that what we have got is, I think you know it will take another one hour for me to talk. We are coming out with the town hall kind of a concept, you know. See, having had some experience in the corporate world and also stayed a long time in the international uh, international side, we want to bring in the concept of the town hall actually, where we talk to the zones and understand what exactly the zone is doing actually. we have initiated the process with the zone 1 and then we are going to come up it's something that sharing you know it's very important is like you know what zone 1 does and what zone 5 does you should know and you should take some of the salient and some of the important seva and then do that seva according to the law of the country actually and if that is done i'm sure that you know the message of swami will spread across and that's very important language is something that we are really serious about it we wanted to go into all the languages like for example spanish mexican japanese german in my opinion i mean this is my opinion i might be wrong english is only a tool actually but then the language all this language worldwide has been what you call dominating nowadays you go to germany they don't talk to you in english you go to what you call i was in indonesia it was a greek and latin for me actually so likewise you know language again a message of swami swami you must have seen talking only in telugu actually wherein you know if that message is translated properly into the local language i will tell you the message will reach much bigger if i have to translate swami's message what i do is what i understood is what i will translate but then what swami wanted to communicate is not reaching you am i not doing a biggest sin in my career actually who am i to stop swami's communication i don't just because i have not grabbed that kind of a data into my mind and then i've not translated i'm doing a biggest sin of that i would say that it's time for us to talk about the local language and time for us to take the message of swami and very important is devotees at the ground level are very key we as an office bearers or we as what you call devotees of swami it's our moral responsibility to take the message across to the last member of the center and tell him hey look this is what swami said now whether you want to take it or you don't want to take it it's purely your personal call and that's the call between you and your swami we are not going to be in between not we have any kind of what you call mediator to, to talk on the subject it's you you connect with your own swami wherever you are whichever part of the world you are and be happy so your questions is something that sir we will come with lot of what you call channel in the next one or two years leading to the centenary celebration that's also there and we will use the technology very effectively to make sure that you know we communicate to the young adults the young adults are very important these days unless until i reach out to the young adult the young adult says uncle don't give me 45 minute video i am i have no time for that i need only 7 minutes and the 7 minutes in that 7 minutes 30 seconds i need to know what you trying to communicate if you don't have anything to communicate in 30 seconds you can see the young adult will just close the video and go to some other video so the timeline that what we have is only 7 minutes to communicate and 30 seconds is the essence of it there is no point in posting a 45 minute video you see the youtube shorts the shorts are the more popular actually it's not that you know 
tomorrow if, if the Mormon center says, you know, talk of Sundar, this is what is for 40 minutes, I will tell you, no, nobody will listen to that. But then the essence of it, if it is taken up carefully, edited properly, and if it is posted, the message goes down. And that's what we need to do. We know it's a very fast world, actually. COVID has taught us that. And COVID, one way it is good, one way it is bad. But then today, let's take the positive side of the COVID and then, you know, move on. We are very strong in the digital world. And the digital world today, what it was three years old and what it is today, you all must be knowing that the whole world is talking about only digital. We have a lot of Zoom meetings, we have what you call WebEx. There were days where we don't even know what WebEx is all about, actually, many of them. Today, even a 70-year uncle will say, hey, I have a Zoom meeting, actually, with my family, actually. So this is what COVID has taught us, actually. Let's take the advantage of that. And our, our primary interest is to only to send Swami's message and Swami's, what you call, teachings. You and I have got nothing to what you call add or delete or even what you call, you know, insert your thoughts, my thoughts. It's not required. What Swami has said, Swami has given us 2,464 discourses on various subjects. You saw in 1961, he spoke about what he called, you know, uh, media. How Swami to be presented. 1961. Look at 1961, I was not even born, that's a different issue altogether. But then in 1961, he is talking about that. So, Swami had spoken in detail about all, all, all subjects. What you see today in the public domain, I can tell you, it's only 800 Swami's discourse. The rest is still there. And that's a massive project for me actually, to work. You see, all the programs that happens in Cycle 1000, we have a 16 minute of discourse. Nowadays, all the 16 minutes, we are trying to bring new, new videos to make sure that you all understand what Swami said. There are many, many videos where Swami was very humor. The message that He communicates like this to us actually. And we understand. He doesn't talk about big jargons and all Sanskrit words and all that. Swami right up to the subject, he talks the way that you and I talk actually and the message is communicated. I'm sure it's Sainam sir, anything else? I think we should know but I just use it as a million dollar question actually. You are asking for a, what you call the statistic which I really don't want to reveal actually. I, I said no, there is one country I don't, I, it's, it's a Muslim country actually, and in the Gulf country, I will not name the name, the highest level of downloads on Bhajan, unbelievable, unbelievable, even US doesn't do, even India doesn't have that kind of what you call download, but then this country, for me when I saw the stats actually on an online, I went to the managing trustee, I told the board of trustees, would you like to know which country is that? See this. I was, I was taken back. That's what I'm saying. You and I don't know what is the game plan of Swami actually. We are only an instrument in His hand. Let's be very clear about it. I do not know what plan Swami has got to me. I was not the chosen guy till 2018. I was just, you know, in a different world altogether, you know. 2018 something said, okay, come, you come. I told the board of trustees and everybody, you're taking a big risk because I'm a corporate guy. I don't know much. They said, no, come. But what happened in 2019 and 2020? The COVID came and the entire what you call digital world has to change. Prashanti Nilayam had to go digital. And that was the task which was given to Swami, to me actually in 2018. And I was prepared for it. When the the COVID came in, the roads were all blocked, nobody came to Prashanti Nilayam. We started the Prashanti live streaming Thursday and Sunday. So all of you sitting in your own rooms, in your living room, you were enjoying Prashanti Nilayam actually. So what I meant to say is like, you know, the instruments, we are only an instrument and hand in Swami's mission. I don't know how long, how far, how many days, how many hours, 
how many years i don't know and the day when he says sundar time is up for you i'll be the first person to step down and say thank you very much swami you gave me an opportunity to serve you i think it's time for me to what you call step down and say thank you to all of you sai ram sai ram i really enjoyed the talk i'm sure all of you did as well we've had so many speakers in the last 15 20 years um this one is very different this one is very unique all of them spoke about experiences which we enjoyed so much hearing about their experiences with swami uh, hearing about what swami is told but uh, this is different this traces the journey of how the communication with the devotees is happening since the time radio sai global harmony was born and how the transformed into um, sss media center and it's now today sri satya sai is a brand as he said what take away for me is the message of what it stands for authentic well researched and high quality that's the hallmark of what sss media center produces so that's what we consume thank you brothers uh, sundar for coming here back to your old center in fact you one amongst us and we'll always consider you one amongst us but hearing all this from you as director of the media center is really uplifting for every one of us thank you also to brother danish our zone chairman for arranging uh, the visit and for brother washi our uh, uh, national president for sundar who is our uh, center president and for all the technical crew who is back there uh, filming what is happening here supporting us with the sound with the multimedia thank you all of you for coming and making this successful and lastly but not least thank you each one of you for being a great audience for hearing out what is said and perhaps some of you will are eager to volunteer with uh, brother sundar thank you sadhana